Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the NFA 9 feature fight of the night on NemesisFightingAlliance.com. Please welcome, making his way to the blue corner, Abbas Abazov. Starts making that slow walk down to the cage. The first thing that pops off to me is he is a, is a judo, a black belt in judo. Now, it's a little bit different with no gi on right now, but we, we saw with, you know, a main example is gonna be Ronda Rousey. They get their hands on you. You know, it's, it, it could be like that grip and then they, they know how to move your weight around. Uh, when I was doing my research, I had heard this, so I'm gonna say it's a rumor because I can't prove it, but allegedly his father is a junior Olympic coach in Dagestan, in judo. So he's probably been training judo since he was really, really little. Yeah, I look for, I look for him to come out and bring a, a calm demeanor. I mean, if, you're, if, if, if that's where your dad comes from, that's obviously inherently you've watched him. So this, this kid, I you know, I look for him to be very impressive. And he also likes guillotines. I've noticed that in a lot of his fights, he always pulls for a guillotine, but that sometimes get him in trouble as well. Says he's a power puncher with impressive takedowns. Now the judo will give you throws and trips that will definitely catch people off guard if they're not used to it. He is a title holder for a promotion called Fury. He's from Minneapolis, Minnesota, so that would be one of the northern ones. At a record of four and two, I mean, I think this is gonna be a really good matchup like the other ones we've had tonight, because we're gonna go, he's going against a purple belt in jiu-jitsu here. Once again, how's this one gonna end up? I bet we see a bit of everything tonight. Well, out of the four wins, three of them are finishes. One knockout, two subs. So he's always coming out looking for a finish, but he does have his hands full with Davion Trotter. Yeah, but Davion, Davion was the 155 champion. He's going down in a weight class to get another belt. He wants to become a belt collector. And now his opponent making his way to the cage, Davion Trotter. Davion. What will these guys have? Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is the NFA 9 feature fight of the evening. It is scheduled for three three minute rounds for the NFA Amateur Featherweight Championship. Brought to you tonight by Sub Zero Wellness. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This freestyle fighter stands five foot nine, weighed in 145.8 pounds. 
Fields an amateur record, four wins, two defeats, with one win coming by way of knockout, three by way of submission. Representing Doc's Judo and Based Boxing fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota by way of Turkmenistan, Abbas Amazon. His opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner is a mixed martial artist, standing six foot tall, weighed in 146 pounds. Builds an amateur record, seven wins, two defeats, with three wins coming by way of knockout and four by way of submission. Representing St. Charles MMA and fighting out of St. Charles, Missouri, he is the current NFA amateur lightweight champion, Damian, the real deal trotter. Your referee charge the action, Tim Francis. All right, gentlemen, we went over everything in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up and go back to your corner. Both guys a little reluctant for the uh, the touch of the gloves. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> yep, no touching there either. You already see the length difference. The kick was a little low. I have to say, I like Davion's got a nice long jab. It's nice and crisp. Not a lot on it, but it's more like a range finder. Oh, it's keeping him off him, too. If you got a judo guy, you don't want him grabbing you. Good outside nice leg kick. Oh, oh good nice. knee. Answer back in the teep. Like you're saying, Adam, he's using that jab. Didn't quite get the check on that kick. Slipped two of those jabs there. All right. All right. Little spin there. With one, two. Ooh, those nice left hook. Yep, those are connecting. Comes back with the left hook of his own. Working that body, too. Whoa, oh. that was close. Yeah, that could have been bad. A weird exchange there. Davion yeah, climbs to the back. Up. This is where that length helps him. You know, he just has that one hook already in that kind of fell like that. Abbas, he just took his back. I was looking for a Kimura reversal. And you know, being a judo black belt, he's probably got a grip like a, like an animal. True, very true. We used to train with the guy, uh, we call him Judo George. Jordan knows him very well. George was what, 70? 72 now. I believe. And when he would grab you, it, it, that doesn't leave. Yeah. That, that grip doesn't leave. And he was, you know, an was he an Olympic coach for the judo team? Uh, he was on the committee. Okay. Yes. Well, you know, as we get older, we get old man strength, too. So that probably added to it. Yes. <laughs> I think George is just strong. He's strong. I think oh. he was 70 years old, deadlifting, what, like 315 or something? <laughs> Woo. All right. Right here, got the body triangle on there. That's going to take the wind. Right out of... Uh, Abasov. He's got good control here. Yeah. And, you know, you always want the submission, but not going to be the time to really soften him up. Get under that armpit, hit him in the chin like that. A lot of hand fighting in these positions. Abasov needs to roll to where that, uh, where his legs are locked to, to try to loosen that. Maybe even get a calf crusher there. Yeah, just yeah there, there we goes. go. There he goes. Nope. Oh, no, that's rolled. not what you wanted to do. <laughs> Looks like Trotter was sinking in that body triangle yeah. a little bit tighter. Mm -hmm. you usually don't go that way. Yeah, if Abbas can step over that. Oh, Ooh, good look at the end there. You know what I have to say? I like that he threw that up at the le with the like about 10 seconds left. They, you know, why not go for it? Yeah, I was going to say know, that too. Exactly. That's beautiful. If you miss, you only have to survive a couple seconds. Usually. That's wise. It was that was very good. Well, and you know, it came from his corner because he didn't hear the 10 seconds. Yeah. So. An arm bar is something you can finish in under 10 seconds. Now, if you're going for a choke, sometimes they can hold out a little bit longer. But if that arm bar's in, it's in. That was, I agree, Adam. That's that's what you do. And St. Charles uh, MMA, they got Mike Rogers, the head coach there. He's been in the game a very long time. He's a very smart, very good coach. So, what I what I like is that when he talks, his, co his you know the fighters listen. That's that's one of the biggest things and hardest things to to do, is ears open and just when they say it you just do it like a video game he's also very good when he does coach you he has that 
that, that calming voice. He doesn't get you too amped up. He keeps you calm. He helps you listen. Here we go, round two in this title fight for the NFA uh, Featherweight Championship. No touch again to start the second round. Ooh, Ooh. ate that jab, Ooh. solid. But fired back with some shots of his own. Good defense by Davion. Trotter. Abbas is coming out here with a fury. That's a nice counter. Abbasov's got uh, a little bit of diversity with his strikes. You know, he comes up with a couple wild hooks, but he throws straight punches down the middle and then just shot an uppercut up the middle. He slips the straights very oh, well. Good too. He's done that multiple times. And that judo background just helped him keep <laughs> fall into mount. This is not good for Trotter. No, oh, judo guys are good triangle. at arm bars too. Abasov is off balance. I think he was looking for a top triangle for I, nope, got a straight I, leg here. Ooh, nice. Big nice slam triangle. from a short distance. Abasov looking for to, to hold that guillotine as just a, I think more just control. Yeah, it looks like get he's back get to up. his feet. He's well, stepping maybe. that leg up like he wants to go for some sort of a throw. I think it will. Very hmm. nice sequence there. He's going to pull it. He's pulling it. As you called, Lance. Yep. Locked at that guillotine. I can't tell how tight it is. Looks tight from here, but I can't tell if he's got that far yeah, arm inside or not. He needs angle. to get on his right hip. That cage is going to help. He's got, he's got space, but he's still under the chin. That's all arms there. He needs yeah. to get on his right hip. Yeah, there oh, he goes. David's going to cross face and get him off. Yeah, if he, does, if he keeps hold, holding it without actually having it, his arms will be burned out. And that cage is saving you from further pressure here in this position, like you would putting the arm over the back to create a little bit of a, of a relief of that pressure. He's yeah. getting it here from the cage. But okay. here's the problem with Trotter. He's just stalling right now. You know, he, he's losing the round. And with these amateur levels, these shorter rounds, that could come into factor because I think the first round... Good first round, second round, you know, could go either way at this point. Well, right here, he has to keep fighting the hands here. He can't really do much. If he tries to force anything, he could definitely get caught in this. But he's wise here. He knows he's got his hand there, grabbing his hands, he's shaking hands with it. There we go. Now he's yes. got about 30 seconds to make something happen. And therein lies the problem with dropping on guillotines. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. nice right. Oh, he oh, hit him. He hurt. connected. Solid shots by Abasov. Oh, good oh. answer back. These guys are trading. Back. Oh, oh, big oh, right, go. left. Oh, oh foul to the head kick. Beautiful. Right on that mouthpiece. Big uppercut. Trotter, I don't think he's in trouble, but he's getting, he's getting, getting stuck. Popped. He's getting popped. Oh, big left hook. And we are going to oh, round number at three. At what a second Ooh. round. I think Abasov took fun, that boys. round. That was fun. Here's the I thing, agree. though. I think Abasov might have just emptied the gas tank. Possibly, yes. That's 1-1. One, one. That's 1-1. One, one. He needs something for the third because I have a 1-1 one, one right now. Hey, here. that was a good round. That was a fun round. You know what he went for? He really did empty the gas tank there. He had a moment where he He's, had him in the pocket. Absolutely. A few got through on Trotter that were good, but for the most part, he was shoveling and rolling those pretty well. His defense kept him in there. He ate some, like I said, but for the most part, his shell saved a lot of him. Yeah, they're, they're, they're working on Abasov. Well, both these guys took some shots just now. Absolutely. It wasn't just, I, I think Abasov it won the exchange, but he got hit too. I Trotter mean, had a good hook right in the beginning of it that landed on Abasov. They both got bombed, just Abasov didn't show it. Yeah, <laughs> if that makes sense. He no-selled it. <laughs> I don't think Trotter was ever hurt or like in no. danger, no. but he got hit and he, you know, he was trying times. to avoid yeah. the shots. Yeah, I'm not saying he was hurt, but he, he winced to where Abasov kind of just walked through. Third round for these two guys. Trotter definitely looks like the more fresh fighter, but Abasov, you know, just land a couple shots in this fight, you know. Upsoft's still throwing hard, though, and moving. He's fighting at his range here in the beginning part. 
There we nice go. Nice jab by Trotter. Jab. Big right nice. hand afterwards. Both He's on the chin. Too. Fighting in Abasov's range, though. See this? Oh, big Ooh. left hook out of Abasov. Yeah. Oh, head kick. kick. Again. This is a fun fight, boys. Good answer back to that left. Trotter's right eye is starting to swell a little bit. I don't know if he can see very great, very good out of it. Nice jab out of Abasov. Trotter's throwing, but he's missing. Jordan alluded to this earlier. The the slips are what are doing are, are working. Yeah, he's slipping a oh, lot. Oh, nice. oh, oh, the judo it, judo throw. Yeah, but Trotter's but already he did on get his, his back. back. You're he's right. climbing up his back already. That was that was a good couple reversals from both. That's a chain of reversals. This is a high level <laughs> amateur fight, guys. That's for the title. These boys want some hardware. Being a title fight doesn't always mean you get the best person. We've seen that in past. That's true. You know, in the past. He's looking for that rolling Kimura again. A little bit more than halfway left in the round. This is where, since Trotter's long, that's the that's the problem for Abbas. Is Trotter can get your back a lot easier. He just has to get a leg in there. Yeah, but Abbasov working his way back to his feet. Trotter he needs to get both hooks in there. How he had that body triangle earlier. Got a twister? Is he looking for a twister here? I think he might be trying to slip out for an arm triangle. Abasov standing up. Both uh, both hooks in. Good for Trotter. He's gonna steal this round if he keeps this kind of control. Mm -hmm. Start fighting for that choke, but Abasov's not going away without a fight. This is a no, this is a game opponent. He is squirmy too. Those legs keep moving. He's having a hard time keeping those hooks in. Abasov getting it to his feet, getting it to his feet. Oh, that, Here that we left go. hand he had posting away is what saved him there. The gas tank of Abasov is oh, impressive. Oh, oh, Both these guys. Oh, They've got 30 seconds left. Trotter shoots in for a takedown. Abasov sprawls, gets on top, landing oh, some shots, but Trotter throwing nice up a, a, so the legs right yeah. there. This is going to be a hard one to score. Oh, Abasov is walk fist. he's walking away with this right now, guys. Oh. I'm telling you right now, he's walking away with this. This top pressure and his ground and pound, he is not stopping. You are right. What a fight. Ten seconds left. I think Abasov yep. just stole this fight. I think he did too. And Trotter does look a little overwhelmed right now. I don't think he's overwhelmed. He just the, the pressure is ridiculous. What a fight. I think wow. we just got a new fight of the night right now, boys. Mm. Wow, what a fight. We get the nod from Abasov. Thanks, bud. I'm glad you appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, we appreciate what you just did. Right. I think you I think I agree with you because this fight was back and forth to where the other one was kind of dominant rounds. Just this could one was back and forth. I would I think I agree with you. This this might have stole it. Definitely could have been one on one going into the third, and like Adam said, Abasov stole the third there at the end. Yeah, the end. It was close, so yeah, that, that that final barrage probably gave it to him. But we were about to find out shortly. What an awesome amount of willpower. That you know what? Both these guys, like, there's I say there's a winner and a loser in a you know in a fight, but there could be a draw, whatever. Mm -hmm. But there was there was really I don't think any loser in this fight. I think we saw a lot of good things out of both guys. I don't think we saw very many uh, negative skill points for either person. No. Got the, is he doing the Russian? Yep, he's doing the Russian head. <laughs> the other guy is in a, I don't know if that's his hair, if that's a black hat, I'm not sure. <laughs> Good fight though, and you know, we got Brad Carey, the owner of NFA up there with the belt, getting ready to put it on someone. Mike Kendall's gonna make it official. Whoever gets it's a worthy champ. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds in this amateur featherweight championship bout, we go to the judges' scorecards. And all three judges score this bout 29 28 for your winner by unanimous decision. And new NFA amateur featherweight champion, Abbas Abbasa. Just as, just as Adam said. That was a good fight, guys. I can't wait to hear what he says uh, when Mike Kendall gets a few words from him. Oh, and, and <laughs> though it was a vacant belt, he did beat the Congratulations, man. You took out the NFA lightweight champion to get the featherweight championship belt.
That's got to feel great, improving your record now to five and two. It's got a strap around your waist. You feel good? Oh, yeah, I feel amazing. Thank you, Missouri, St. Char Charles. Woo! I'm so tired, but I'm so happy. That's an amazing night, amazing show. Thank you for that, and thank you for my family, for my coaches. I'm really happy. Thank you. Awesome, amazing job. Congratulations, your new NFA Amateur Featherweight Champion, Abbas Abbasov. That makes sense.